Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would just do something a little different because I am now finally sitting down to eat. I thought I would just kind of sit down and eat with you guys today for a different video. So today it's just going to be a witch hunt among updates and stuff like that. If I can get the camera to sit still. Okay, so today I'm having some chicken, a, a chicken from McDonald's and some flaming hot Cheetos. And I'm drinking a monster. So that's what I'm drinking. So yeah. Um so first of all we moved in very good. We're good. I've already did um my cleansing in here. I did a spray form of it and then I put my mix around the camper as you would know but um <clears throat> youtube if you hear the music in the background please do not copyright me i'm always begging youtube not to copyright me um i have a lot of you who are requesting to order some mixes for me um i have a lot of you sorry who are requesting to make or um, who want to order the protection mix from me, that's fine. You just need to go to my Medium page, Colton the Mississippi Medium on Facebook, and look under my services because it's gonna be pinned at the top of my Facebook page. And you just click on the services and order it. Um, right now, it just says the price it does until I find out how much it's gonna be for me to do the shipping. Um, and once I find out the shipping, I can edit it and let you know. But just, um, when you select the service you want, let me know so I can email you an invoice sheet to so fill out your first and last name, your address, you know, what service you purchased or you want to purchase, excuse me, and everything that we need to know there. So that way we can get that started because I know there's two people who wanted me to make, um, two, two people who wanted to order the mix, so I've been busy getting that together. busy trying to buy jars all the mixes I'm gonna need like the spices cinnamon and all that so um yeah me and my fiance just been really busy door dashing tomorrow we're leaving to go, out of, to go out of town to go work, and now we won't be back until um, we won't be back until Sunday night. So orders won't be done until after we get done working. So I'm just putting that out there, which should give people time enough because I got one meal saying they wanted to buy it after they got paid again which is why I'm not doing orders until next week and then we bought our Wi-Fi Let me plug it up. That's not all we have to do is just plug it up and it works. Like literally because it takes just you plug it up and it works. And we plug it up today and it doesn't work. So I'm like, are you serious? Oh my god. So we've been dealing with that. So But I got everything figured out for my witch stuff because this is a propane camper 
so you can't light no candles in here, incense or nothing, which is no big deal. You don't need that stuff to be a witch. My fiance was like, what about you doing like, you doing money spells and stuff like that for us? I'm like, I don't need that stuff to be a witch. I'm like, I can cast a money spell right now. I don't need that, but I just use that because that's what I like to use. So I got a little, like I'm using Archangel Michael's old altar, the one that can pick up easily and move as my main altar. So what I need to do is spell work. I can just go outside and do it and put it on my little table, which there will be a camper tour coming up very soon when we get back from working because the Wi-Fi will be all hooked up next week when we get back. Want a bite? Sorry, it's got flame hot cheetos on it. But so yeah, it's not a big deal to me. Even though it's about to get cold, I still don't care. But when you're ready to order your protection jar. I'm going to make a video um, when I get back, when me and my fiance get back from working, that you can go ahead and place your orders in if you're ready. And you can go ahead and go on the Medium Facebook page and click in the, on the service that Protection makes, purchase it. It'll send me an email on my Facebook page and then I'll go and email you an invoice page and then you'll fill out everything first last name address excuse me email you know what did what service you purchased that way I can keep up with it and then and then you'll get that invoice in your mail so that way you know what I'm keeping on file in case you do pr purchase another service of mine but this is a video on an update to tell you basically that I, the orders won't be going out so don't order anything yet until we get back I'm not eating too much of these hot Cheetos because um, I learned my lesson the first time. We just have a really cute camper. I love it. I've been working out. Still, I figured out a new system since I'm in here. first meal of the day so mm. I don't know I feel like hanging out but look what I'm about to do I'm about to take my chips and put it on my McChicken It. Yes. Mm. I'm supposed to come out with another video too. It's a money sachet. Must be coming out with that too. But we leave tomorrow, so I'm not gonna do it tonight because I'm up late packing our bags. So
the reason why I don't give out too much information on my YouTube channel is because there's some snobby people who watch my YouTube channel <coughs> who like to just get information off of here who still is watching my YouTube channel just to be nosy or go spread rumors about my personal life, me and my fiance's life, which is why you do you. It's not affecting us, you know. But we're not subscribed anymore. I just don't understand people. I really don't. Like, you go live your life, and I'll, we'll live ours. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make a bunch of smacking noises, y'all. I'm just trying to eat and work and film. But, we gotta realize that being Christian witches, sometimes I feel like, now this is about to be a serious talk. Now let me, let me. Sometimes I feel like God tests us being Christian witches. Like when we do our spell work and you know, everything happens the way it does. Um, like, <clears throat> You do a spell or binding because you want to help somebody get rid of people in their life so they don't end up going on the wrong path. And the deities that you work with help you and it works, whatever. And then these people end up showing up in a couple weeks later. And you're like, really? No. I feel like God tests us to see if we're either going to get mad and take it out on our the person we're trying to protect or we're gonna get encouraged to do more workings. You see what I'm saying? Like instead of saying our spell didn't work, our spell worked, but maybe God's pushing us to do more, to tap in our power, you know what I'm saying? Think about this is a path, a practice. This is a path of God that a lot of people don't understand. But here's the thing you it is called practicing witchcraft for a reason because if a spell don't work, then you get another candle and you light it put your intentions in you get another candle you do your prayer you get another candle you keep going until you get the result of, that you want that's why you're called a practicing witch a practicing christian witch you keep going until you get what you want if a spell don't work one way do it a different way or change the prayer that you said before you know i had an incident maybe it's in my youtube channel i did a spell for something and the spell didn't work out the way i wanted it to so i changed the spell work I changed it completely. I changed it from, I think it was when I was working with Hecate a long time ago, I did a stop gossip curse spell. <clears throat> I changed that spell work to a different way. But um, it, it just, you gotta basically change your work method. If the spell don't work, that don't mean that it's not gonna work. You just change, maybe your gut's telling you something add something to the spell take something away from the spell like it does not matter you keep going until you get what you want or you get what you need it does not matter and so i feel like god pushes us sometimes to cast more of that spell or add something to that spell if you cast a spell to get rid of somebody and then that spell doesn't work maybe there's something else do some divination dive into your psychic abilities and meditate and ask god to show you a vision of what's missing why 
why this why these people aren't gone you know what's holding on is there is there something in the way you know do you need to add salt around this candle to salt their life out to sour them away you know what does it what do you need to add you know so i think we just need to have a little talk about our power as a witch that we need to tap into it fully if you go watch the power and authority of a witch video you'll understand what i'm talking about but back then i was a little more i was young i didn't really understand that god was you know whatever i'm not even gonna go under just never mind don't even watch that video i'll redo it i'll redo the video i'll redo it okay i will redo it Ugh. i had a lot of anger back then because <laughs> um but tap into your power tap into your authority as a christian witch if the spell doesn't work keep doing it do it a different way ask the holy spirit to show you what spell or what ingredient you need to add together or what ingredient you need to take out or what prayer you need to take out or add to get this done because you're the witch you're the one who has access to all these deities to help you or if you don't need to work with deities if you need to do it yourself with the prayer you know i'm just trying to tell you like if you did a spell again back to the story and it didn't work then you seek guidance or pull cards or you go add two more candles or add three more candles to the spell or do a seven day candle spell or do you know do meditation spell or you keep going you don't stop that's why they call us practicing witches because we're practicing magic we're continuously doing stuff to affect our lives i've seen some of my spells work like that and i've seen some of my spells take a week i've seen some of my spells backfire and i've seen some of my spells not even work at all but i've seen it to where if i've seen some of my spells not working at all i just jumped in and started going after it if i one time i had a spell that didn't work at all so i jumped in and went after it with a different can of color didn't work went after it with a different ingredient it started working more but it was slow went in and after it with a different prayer it worked like that you know you just got to put your energy into it because i am a i will not i'm a leo i will get what i want like that's how i am you know so but anyway so enough rambling for that you got a little talk video with this um i have to get ready to start packing for it tomorrow um and start cleaning up around here you can see my little office area in the back i do have all my halters up though so there will be a lot of that coming up but i will see you guys on the next video i hope this update video helped you guys for the protection jars um again this video is to tell you don't order anything yet off my facebook page because it is back up and running now so if you want to order something you can but i will not get a notification right now because i'm going out of town for work so um if you wait for me i will post a video when we get back from uh, work i'll post a video saying you can go ahead and order whatever you would like off the uh, mississippi medium page colton the mississippi medium page um and it's just gonna be right there at the top literally services and you just click on it and there's gonna be a whole list of services there and so um i will not be able to answer um any services purchases right now because we're gonna be going out of town so um, don't do any orders or don't order any spell work or don't order any readings because I would not be accepting purchases right now. Um, but once I come back from town, I will make a video real quick and say, go ahead, start purchasing what you would like. Email me, you know, and I'll email you back a invoice sheet. And then you email me that voice sheet, you know, whatever, with all your information so I can put in the address so I can ship everything to you. Okay. Okay. I love you guys. Please comment down below what videos you would like to see coming up next week when I get back from work. When it, well, actually, it's my fiance's work, but we work together, you know, DoorDash. Um, please comment down below what videos you would like to see this week coming up because, you know, videos every week. We have videos every week. It went from every week to every day. But what videos you would like to see every week. So I need video ideas, please. <sighs> okay. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm thinking about doing some collabs, so if you're interested, please hit me up on my email, rayraytheeclectedwitch at gmail.com, or comment down below your email, and I will text you and let you know my personal information, or my Medium page, called the Mississippi Medium, and text me off of there, because two people already texted me off of there, so. Alright guys, love you, bye!